Hey, hey guys, hello again. I came up with another interesting content, so it's been so long. I never expected this much uh, break, so it's really, I'm really, I'm in the point of a uh, where should I apologies. <laughs> so I, I'm really trying, desperately trying really hard to maintain the flow, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm really dealing with my bipolar disorder, but recently I'm feeling a little bit better because my mom returned from Dubai, so yeah, uh, I think yeah, a little bit better now as you can see me here, so I just apply some makeup and I just dressed up, so because uh, today is a quite special occasion for me. Let me, you'll be getting now in the middle of the video. So let's start the video and let me start with our ritual. <laughs> so it's a fashion, so let me go show you a small fashion walk with my dress, what I'm wearing. So let's start. Yeah, guys, this is what I'm wearing today for this video. And I'm wearing a off shoulder dress and I'm covering up with a coat. So this is a quite nice look, and so I'm matching my coat with my shoe. Yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling really satisfied with this fashion. So today, the content is quite different. So and also there are a lot of uh, misconception, controversy related to LGBTQ recently and also I, I noticed there are a lot of uh, kind of uh, the knowledge about LGBT is not sufficient according to my <laughs> experience in the TikTok or YouTube, the social media, that's what I mean. So yeah, let's start a question and a session. Um, with yeah, the open AI, the chat GPT. So I'm going to ask questions uh, from chat GPT and I'm going to share that with you. There are a lot of interesting questions you never imagined before. So let's start. Yes, guys, I'm going to ask chat GPT the questions uh, related to LGBTQ. So let's start the first question, it will be so interesting. So mostly this question asks uh, so time, so what is a woman? <laughs> so what is a woman? So that's the first question. So let's see what ChatGPT says. A woman is an adult human female. In terms of biological sex, women typically have two X chromosomes. But it's important to note that not all individuals who identify as women may have some biological, same biological makeup. So gender identity is separate from biological sex, refers to a person's internation, internal sense of their own gender. So, so this exactly saying that uh, we cannot exactly, I mean, just learn the biological things that chromosomes or something like that, uh, genitals. So it's more than a biological thing. The gender is more social. So if I went to hospital, so yeah, of course, uh, I should be tr treated as a, uh, medically I should be treated as a boy, not a girl. So that one I should accept. But in social, so I'm quite afraid that I should be able to get the privilege of a girl. So I mean, I should be able to get treated as a girl. So that's what I expect. So mostly, uh, when we 
start to talk about the gender, so it should be a social thing. So that's what I wanted to. That's what I expect from this chat. If it is exactly delivering the same, so it's the <laughs> artificial intelligence is, uh, I mean, quite uh, aware of it, but we don't that. <laughs> so that's a funny thing actually here. Okay, the next question is, it will be so interesting. So, yeah. Yes. Trans. Transgender. Natural. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this answer is simply starting with yes. Being transgender is a natural phenomenon. Gender identity, which is a person's intense sense of their own gender, is a complex interplay of biological, genetic, hormonal, and neurological factors. So, oh my god, I'm, this artificial, this chat gave me the killing me right now. Such an extensive answer, right? So, and also the transgenderism is. <laughs> Identified in animals also, not only humans, so we don't, I mean, animals also they experience the same, so it's a completely natural thing. But we are human, we are more than, uh, more conscious than animals, so just sometimes we couldn't be able to accept our body as we want, so we have the power to alter it, so, so why? Don't be try that. So that's why we use uh, hormones therapy, surgery, surgery, uh, etc. So those things may not be natural, but whatever we are inside is natural. So whatever we are feeling right now, so this how I get how I'm identifying myself. So these are natural things, so don't worry about this, that transgenderism is natural, so this is not against nature, it is not against na nature, that's what I want to pinpoint here. Okay, the next question is, that also is kind of same, but I just wanted to uh, let you know, so, is, B -E -I -N -G, is being gay, Natural. E. <laughs> this answer is simply starting with yes. So, chat with this face. Yes, being gay, which prefers to have a same sex sexual orientation, is also considered a natural variation of human sexuality. So, it's a natural variation we don't create, we don't create in our minds. So is completely natural, so don't worry, don't be afraid of it, don't hate them. So, I think most of the people, they are arguing this, uh, why they are against homosexual, so why they are offending uh, LGBTQ community, so they are justifying the answer is, uh, they are justifying like the nature is man for women, so it should be opposite sex, should be uh, uh, together, so that's what the argument is, but it's not actually is, and also this gay is also not only for human, and also this uh, homosexual sexuality is not only for humans, also for other animals is identified. So there are some snakes, they and they mate with the same sex or uh, kind of common homosexuality, so for a different purpose. So, yeah, of course, so don't worry about it, it's also nature, we are, not, I mean, we are not against nature and we are not going to destroy the world also. <laughs> Actually, you are bringing up the hate against love, so it's not going to work, guys, so the love always wins. Okay, the next question is, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
Bye. Actually, today is my birthday, guys. So that's what my special occasion. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't that much interested in birthday parties, but I just wanted to let you know that today, August 12, is my birthday. Yeah. So let's get into the video. So is getting attracted to trans woman is gay. Is getting attracted to trans woman gay. Okay. <laughs> So um, the question is not simply starting from no, but it's actually no, so it's explaining it. So, um, <laughs> sexual attraction is complex and individual experience, and how someone identifies their sexual organism can depend on their own understanding and feeling. So, it's quite elaborating. If a person is attracted to a transgender woman, so, how they define their sexual orientation would vary. Some might consider it to be a form of heterosexuality as the attraction is between individual different gender identities. So, it's not about the gender you assigned in birth or biological thing. So, it's, so simply it's explaining so what are you identifying if it's opposite then it's heterosexual, it's not gay, it's not a homosexual. So, so most of men, they really afraid of dating a trans woman. So, because of they would be labeled as a gay or homosexual person. So that's what they are afraid of, but <laughs> there's nothing. Uh, yes, it's up to them. So, if the uh, sexual orientation is heterosexual woman, sorry, heterosexual man, then of course you can date a trans woman. So that's what artificial intelligence said. And it's, uh, whatever it's gaining, so whatever it's generating this response, so it's gathered or, uh, uh, from the labor sources, so it's explaining in the last. So most of the question is explained that depend on the existing related information database so it's generating this uh, response so it's reliable so don't worry you are not gay so you can date me if you want <laughs> ok this would be quite serious one so what I am going to ask which countries which are the countries against LGBTQ plus community done oh my god it's listing down the countries seriously so let's start with uh, Russia <laughs> oh my god Russia has forced criticism for its anti-LGBTQ plus law and policies to so gay propaganda. So the world is really, I'm mean, very really afraid of the word of propaganda. It's nothing like that. The second country listed here, Chechnya. Uh, I'm pronounce, pronouncing correctly. Chechnya. Chechnya. Okay, maybe. The part of it's a part of Russia, so it's really bad. It's really bad the way that. Oh my god. This kind of things actually give me so much anxiety. I'm getting uh, whenever I see videos, I saw you know I saw videos related to this kind of violence. Oh my god, it's really affecting my mental health, but uh, yeah, but we need to get to know this because we need to fight against it. So uh, reports have emerged about human rights abuses, including arrests, torture, and of course, killing of LGBTQ individuals in Chechnya. 
Okay. Uh, okay, the second third one is Saudi Arabia, of course, it's a Muslim country, so they are against uh, homosexuality, I think. Oh, seriously? I didn't know this. Death penalty? Seriously? The death penalty for what? Actually, we need to... Uh, okay. The third one is Iran. So, they are criminalizing homosexuality. Uh, I don't know about the transgender. So, it's a really harsh penalties. Uh, so, I think caning or something. Yeah. So, the fifth one is Uganda. Um, so it's a criminalizing. So and also they are restricting the rights of LGBTQ members. I think getting a job as a transgender woman in Uganda might be hard. Yeah. The sixth one is oh my God, you you in Nice, Dubai, so. Okay, so they are against homosexuality so much. Brunei, Brunei. So this means, so they are fun. Oh, again, again, again. Never, 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 I never ever go to Brunei. And Saudi Arabia also, because of the death penalty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I am laughing because of that. Angry because of. I am really angry right now. Brunei, the country in this laws that would have made homosexuality punishable by death. Are they humans actually? So, are there any humans living in Brunei? Might be. I don't know. I don't know whether they have eyes or ears. The next question is, uh, so it would be let's do some impression thing. So the LGBT plus primary countries. <laughs> so person guys, I'm feeling so person with this answers, with this outcome. Of course Canada. Oh my god. <laughs> so 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 person to see the Canada on the first. So so they are the leader actually. They are friendly with LGBTQ persons, individuals, and they legalized same sex marriage in 2005. Yeah, actually, can I say? So, they are Netherlands. Oh my god, very beautiful country. And such people, can they did, right? <laughs> so, they legalized uh, by 2001, so around more than 20 two years ago and has no history of LGBTQ acceptance. So, Netherlands, of course, it would be so nice to live there. Definitely I will visit all these countries uh, as a tourist. I'm really happy with that, so this list. And, of course, uh, these are the questions I just wanted to ask. Chat GPT. I hope you enjoyed this video a lot, so uh, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with this, so I should have, and also I'm planning to start a activism uh, about LGBTQ and I want to support them, so 
and so I'm going to start with uh, prisoners, the LGBTQ individuals in the prison. So I'm going to start with detainees and prisoners uh, inside the Sri Lankan jail. So I'm going to meet them and I'm going to discuss about their struggles and I'd like to help them as much as I can so that's what I'm planning to do next of course I need to be grateful and really grateful for my Patreons you're doing a really great job and you're supporting me financially uh, yeah and my subscribers, my followers you're my Instagram friends and everyone you're doing a really great job and you are really supportive uh, while I was struggling in my depression and bipolar disorder. Yeah, so that's it. That's all I'm going to discuss with you today. And I hope you enjoyed the birthday celebration. It's quite short, but <laughs> I just wanted to make it short so not that uh, luxury stuff. Yeah, so that's it. See you guys, see me in my other video. I bring another interesting content. See ya. For now, you the friends to be signed up. Bye bye. And don't miss me too much. Ta da!